Berry again taking up a, a lot more central role in there off the left hand side. It's Maynard now through to Berry as he comes into the box and it's a to rise the challenge and it's a great save from the Rams bottom keeper Harry Turner there. A brilliant little move there from the Siltman and you think Berry from that position just on the edge of the six yard box would have would have buried that chance. Buried that chance. See what you've done. No, he did well, Berry, because he, he rode a challenge on the young keeper as a there, Cruffin tries to find a good free ball to Jennings, but it's well intercepted by Mack. And it's another free kick this time for the Siltman just inside the Rams bottom half as, a, as James Berry goes to ground. And I think the Rams bottom player starting to get just a little bit frustrated. And it's a yellow card there for uh, the, uh, the Rams bottom striker Jennings. And I don't know whether that's maybe for a cumulative from centre back. And he's looking for a long ball through to, to Kenya now. Does really well just to, to control the ball with his chest. and and check back he needs a bit of support as he's driving forward down the, the left hand side he's just swapped out there and he does find Maynard in the middle who lays it off to Hardy to try and find space to get the shot away he's well marshalled back to Maynard now Maynard gets it out of his feet to get the shot away and it's a great finish from Nicky Maynard 1-0 
to the Silkman and he's done ever so well just to, to pick his spot there, Nicky Maynard. A low finish to the left of Hardy's goal for Ramsbottom United. And yeah, that's, that's what Nicky Maynard does best, isn't it? That's a brilliant, brilliant finish just from the edge of the box, Matt. It certainly was, yeah. It showed a, a great deal of composure there, Nicky Maynard, because Hardy got the ball stuck under his feet. I think many strikers would have charged into the box and got stuck in the melee. Instead, he just held his position and Hardy did ever so well to find him and then just that composure just to uh, shift it a foot further to the right he Matt players towards the far post as Berry clips it in now towards that area Maynard gets ahead on it and it's straight through to uh, the goalkeeper Turner who's had his back in his goal as Ramswatham have it on the left try and play a low ball in and it's well held this time by trying to turn his man ball through is a poor one intercepted by Mendy and then he goes in hard there does Jennings on Murphy and I'm uh, several Matt players going over to the referee which I don't like to see trying to get Jennings in trouble and I uh, it was a slightly late challenge but I think it's one that I would personally uh, wave off with the Maynard ball. first time into Hardy Kengney's out to his right and Kengney now picks it up just outside the box left footed shot towards the far post and it's well wide of Turner's upright in the end yeah it's a little bit selfish maybe there from Neil Kengney to now picks up the ball after Luke Murphy knocks down into Dan, space outside for Pemberton, Dan's instead goes left, carrying the ball forward now Dan's into the left channel, going to do things on his own here, he's half stopped by Radcliffe, still has the ball though does Dan's to the byline, stands one up, it's a good cross as well, headed clear but only to the edge of the area, Maynard picks it up on the swivel and Maynard fires over, just leaning back perhaps slightly there Nicky Maynard and that'll be a goal kick for Ramsbottom. Yeah he was wasn't he Matt, he just couldn't quite get under the shot properly there despite you know, the excellent touches again from Maynard just to create the space to get the shot away in the first place wasn't it you know done really really well there and as I say fortunately just leaning back a bit as the the ball flew over Turner's goal I didn't Kengley doing really well to, to clear the ball well and it's just fallen to James Berry he's got the opportunity to try and get one-on-one -on -one with the rounds bottom keeper he turns the keeper is clipped rise the challenge and eventually the ball manages to cross the line it does he made a bit of a meal of it there, James Berry almost didn't, didn't cross the line there as he managed to run one-on-one -on -one with Turner, the keeper, and the Ramsbottom goal, and Ramsbottom nearly cleared it off the goal line in the end there, and Macclesfield fortunately make it 2-0 here at the leasing.com through James Berry, who gets his 14th goal of the season. He's having a superb campaign. That was a little bit hairy there, wasn't it, for the, for the Siltman? It was, yeah, Berry did so well to, to take it around the onrushing keeper turn and it was one of the two centre-halves who got back and got half a block on it as the ball rolled towards the line. Fortunately, the assistant referee was well-placed and I think in the end, was it uh, was it Bar Barlow couldn't quite get his toe to it and prevent it from, from crossing the line. Mendy, and it's a nice little ball from Lee into Berry to try and wind up the shot. A dummy from Dan's finds Pemberton, who does get the shot away and it's into the side netting from Trey Pemberton there and that was a really good opportunity from the Siltman. They've just got a bit of possession inside their own half now and it's that man James Berry again who's picking up those spaces centrally and he's played a great right through ball to Nicky Maynard has run through to Neil Kengney and Neil Kengney makes it 3-0 for the Siltman and that should put it out of sight and it's a, a somersault from Neil Kengney as part of the celebration as well. That was a brilliant counter-attacking move with us up the tempo there so well the Siltman with Berry playing it in through to Nicky Maynard and then just the slightest touch off Maynard through to Kengney who slotted the ball well first time past Harry Turner's goal and that really should put it out of sight now for the Siltman 3-0 at the leasing.com absolutely yeah really pleased as well for Neil Kengney there he's notched his ninth goal of the season in all competitions are we going to say that was an intentional pass from Nicky Maynard, or are you going to say that was a heavy first touch? What are you going to say? I wonder if it's one of those where he's been given the shout, I wonder. Oh, you reckon he's steered no, into I, his path? You're I, a kind man, James. Yeah, <laughs> but to be fair, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a predator in front of goal, isn't he, Nicky Maynard? I'm he sure is. he would have wanted that for himself. No, you're right. Maybe but it's cynical. I, I think the, the, um, you know, the, the, the angle would have been better for Kengley for the finish, to be fair, and, you know, he's, he's done a really good job to put that away for the Silkman, and I will... Uh, We'll pass over to you, Matt, to take us through to, to full to Pemberton's feet now. On to Kengney. Chance to cross first time. He crosses half cut out, bounces into the path of Pemberton, and it's an own goal. A terrible own goal from Radcliffe. And that makes it 4 0 to Mackey. 
what can you say? <laughs> Absolutely shocking own goal, wasn't it, Matt? I mean, I don't, I don't really know how he's done that. He's, he's, he's side-footed it straight past his own keeper. Um, you know, okay, it was a, you know, a dangerous ball in the box to, to find him. Um, I think it was James Berry looking for, wasn't it, on the left-hand side at the, at the back post. But he's just... I, I just really... I don't understand how you... I don't know whether it's one of the... It's coming well. in that goal. It was a good effort. It was unfortunately... Ramsden puts just straight at him as Matt got to come away now. As Berry comes forward down the right towards the area. Berry working his way into the box with the shot, and Berry's just wide to the far post. Superb run again from Berry. Beat Barlow all ends up the number five in the area. Good chance from the angle. Just past the post, wasn't it? Yeah, he's so dangerous when he gets into his stride like that, isn't he, James Berry? And I think, you know, if he was on his favoured left hand side, you would have seen that curling into the, the bottom of the the top corner and again, I think it's just unfortunate because again it's, he's, he's not cutting it in the way that he wants off the uh, when he's on the left is he there he's had to, to drive now Mark Duffy will accelerate away towards halfway as the referee blows the full time whistle here at the leasing.com and it's finished Macclesfield 4 Rams bottom nil and really uh, a really truly dominant performance today James yeah, they've been excellent, haven't they? The, the Siltman from, from the first whistle to the last have really controlled and, uh, and dominated you know, the entirety of the game. I mean, if we had possession stats at this level, I'd want to say Mac had probably had about 60 to 70% of the, the control and possession there. And it's been, you know, when they've had those opportunities, you know, they've, they've taken them for the Siltman as well. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no,